We're gonna put our budget 3D printer to the test by printing everyday objects that you might use at home. We're testing out four 3D printed items, including a 3D printed ball the size of a basketball, but we'll get more into that later. This is a ratchet that you can get at just about any hardware store, and this is a 3D printed ratchet by NASA. And this is our go-kart. Just a quick disclaimer, the 3D printed ratchet only tightens. It does not loosen, so that's all that we're gonna be testing. So we're gonna be taking off our steering wheel bolts and seeing which ratchet can tighten them the fastest. First, we're testing out the real ratchet. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's see it. And go. Okay, there we go, time. 46 seconds. All right. Not bad, okay, that's the end part. <laughs> yeah. Now it's time for the 3D printed ratchet. Are you ready? I'm ready. And start, okay. It's so quiet. It is very quiet. Yeah, is that tight? tight? It's, I mean, it's tight. 54 seconds. Wow. Much sloppier, much more inconsistent, and it took longer. Look at how much that's sliding around so much now. But, yeah, it's very loose too. It did not start out that way. All right, Kyson, is the future now or is it a little bit later? I think it's a little bit later. I think so too. Now we got a real adjustable wrench versus a 3D printed adjustable wrench. It even says on it. Now we're gonna see how it holds up. The disclaimer with this one is it doesn't actually adjust. Uh, I don't know if that's just this 3D model that we have here, but luckily it does fit one of the bolts on Hammerhead. Just barely. Oh, it's bending a lot. Oh, Jeez. it's just bending. Oh no. That is not gonna loosen. Am I allowed to break it? I give you permission to break it, Kyson. It's just not gonna do anything. Oh no. I mean, do we even need to try? The real one? I think we know that the real one would work. <laughs> Alright guys, I think this is a pretty obvious one. I think we gotta wait for the future for this. Yeah. Quick little update. We got some of the pieces off of the wrench that we're actually holding it back, and it actually adjusts most of the way, but we can't get this piece off. As you can tell, we tried. It just won't come off, and at least it adjusts now, but it's still too loose and won't unscrew that bolt. Okay, remember that ball I mentioned? Well, you can use it as a soccer ball. Nice. Or a golf ball. <laughs> Even a basketball. <laughs> or if you want to go bowling, you can do that too. You can even play football with this thing. If you're better than this guy, of course. And it can be used as a bouncy ball. Okay, maybe not that one, but that was still pretty cool. Oh, what? No way. That did really good. Dang. I definitely thought we'd be cleaning up right now. Look at that. What in the world? How'd that, how'd that stay together? Okay, call me crazy, but I think it's best if we wait for the future to start replacing our sports balls with plastic. All right, we have my go-kart helmet here with a GoPro mount on it, and we're gonna test out a 3D printed GoPro wrench versus a real GoPro wrench. So GoPro wrenches are actually pretty nice. When you're wearing a GoPro, especially on a helmet mount, if it falls down anyway, but you kind of miss what you want to see on like the road or what's in front of you. First, we're gonna test out the 3D printed GoPro wrench. And what's cool about this is it has a ton of hex sizes if you need to screw in something. This looks pretty thin, so it doesn't seem like it'd be that strong, but it's working really well and it doesn't feel like it's about to break. Okay, there's a little bit of bending in this part. It is really thin plastic. But it works really well. That's tight. Nice. All right, and this is a real GoPro wrench and it has a little stopper on the end, so it's you won't go too far into the screw. It's, it sits right on top like this and it's a lot thicker, a lot stronger. Works pretty well. The only thing is this only has one little size for a hex wrench. All right, AJ, what do you think about this one? I think the future is now. There's no compromise to it, really. I mean, the only thing is the little stopper, but I mean, it's pretty portable. I, I would use it. I'm gonna put it with my GoPro. And with that, we'll wrap it up. 
Thank you guys for watching our video on household versus 3D printed items that you can make at home. If you want to see anything else, make sure to let us know in the comments and we'll make sure to print it for you. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.